Right, Jerry, we don't want to end up on a, a miserable, despondent note, but a lot of people are concerned about the future of Greyhound Racing. How do you see it? Yeah, well, um, we go back a little bit. When I was a kid, um, I'm 51, when I was a kid, there was tracks everywhere in London. Like um, People like know and have heard of Hackney Wick and Harringay, but I'm talking about like tracks like Clapton and West Ham and Park Royal. And Although I was only a kid and I can't say, oh, I used to go there. And it, it was actually before my time, but these tracks was here in my lifetime and I used to go with my dad as a kid. They closed down one after the other, after the other, after the other. There is not a track in London now. Um, people say, oh, well, Rumf no, Rumford's not in London. Rumford's in Essex, so it's not in London. We haven't got anywhere in London now. I don't know how many tracks there was off the top of the, the head, but there was 20, 30, maybe 40 even in London 50 years ago. They're all gone. So it shows you in what direction the sport is going. Um, we have got one last hope. One last hope of dog racing is, is actually Tauster. Um, they go ahead. The owner of the track really, really, really is having a go. They've got the best, in my opinion, the best racing manager in Chris Page. <coughs> who knows the game inside out. We have really got to get behind Tasto and what they're doing for the sport. And in my opinion, Graham Racing is not getting behind it in the way that it should. There's a lot of people, oh, but I don't like the track. It's such a horrible running track. That's what we've got. I'm talking about as the track. Oh, well, it's a long way away from where the track is, but we, the, the viewing's not that good. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Tasto is having a go. They've got the best trainers. They've got the best dogs. Um, they've got great facilities, the restaurants are fabulous, the bars are fabulous. I've got to say, I don't own no shares in the company, I'm not digging them up from that point of view, but it really, really is fantastic. The few times that I've been there, everything has been top-notch to the point that I would say that how it was, how it is run, the restaurants and the facilities are on a par with Walthamstow. Right, so this is what I do for my living. This is a race tomorrow at uh, Nottingham that I'm doing. Um, this is the second race. Um, so on my system, right, I've got any races up there. I don't want that. Right, so the videos are for the last three months. If I click this button here, this is all dogs that have run together. So in this race here, Three of these dogs have run together on the 22nd of January, which tells me the date just there. And the dogs that have run are Salakers Olympic, Belly for Rocky, and Come Out Honey Pie. Um, and I will see how these three dogs run together. So you can tell from this, but who's got the best early, what direction they're going. So six has got an extremely slow away here, and it's gone to the bend by far the fastest out of out of two, three, and six. I'll just run it back again to see how much it added into the corner. But if we freeze it as they come out, you can see that six is quite away behind two and three out of the boxes, maybe. Maybe up to two lengths behind. So, um, and you can see that when it gets going into the corner, it's got quite a lot in end of of three particularly and and two, by not quite as much. Now two and three have got crowded a little bit down the back straight, but you can see that si that six is very very much two and three's governor. Not come home too bad six as well so it's done quite a bit of, of, of everything come out honey pie right now i've watched three of those dogs run, run together poor old come on honey pie's got knocked over out after the line now i'll be looking for something else to run against come 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 on honey pie and i've found
but nothing else has run apart from them two dogs. And now what I would do, I would compare, say five and six together. Now what I can do then, I can click on this button down here and this will be a dog that has run against both dogs. And a dog called Tuffy Shark has come up. The runs are very, very close together, the 22nd of January and the 19th of January. I will click on this run. Now I know that uh, Come On Honey Pie, that is the race that I've just watched, but I'll know that Come On Honey Pie has got loads of early. I will see it against five here. Now five's trapped a couple of lengths in front of six. Six is definitely better than five to the corner. It's le virtually leveled it at the corner. Five's run a better bend. Again, six is a par for five down the back straight, if not a little bit better. Had to check at the third bend behind five. Five has got another length and a half, two lengths on him. Six is run a little bit wide. You can't say that five that six is not even better than five coming home. So now we will see how the six dog got on against uh, Tuffy Shark. You know the Tuffy Shark and Come On Honey Pie are very, very level to the corner when they run together. A few days before these two run together. Right, you can see that Tuffy Shark is by far better than, than, than this Vigorous Rory. So now I know that Come On Honey Pie is better than Vigorous Rory to the corner, uh, better than Salaker's <coughs> Olympic to the corner, and better than Dally, Dally 4 Rocky to the corner. So now I say, well, what, what's, what's these, these two dogs like? Upward Mario. Right, we'll do another comparison. We've got Tuffy Shark come up again. So now this is the 22nd when it beat um, come, 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 come Out Honey Pie. We'll see how this gets on. We'll see how this gets on. Now, Upward Mario is in trap three, and Tuffy Shark is in five. Here's coming round. Right, now, you can say that that's better than, than Tuffy Shark to the corner. Now, this might not stay, this dog. This might... It's got a little bit crowded, so... Try to go again. It hasn't had the best of runs there. But now we know out of all these other dogs that Upward Mario has got more early than Tuffy Shark where um, Come On Honey Pie only had as much early. But we've got to say he's got crowded about a little bit. So we say well we'll have another look at another dog. And we've got one more comparison to do here. And that's Mad About Roger. Right, so that's that same race. We know that, uh, that, that, that they're pretty equal to the corner. Now, if two's better than one here, we can say, well, and they're pretty much apart. Two's probably a length better than one, maybe, maybe three quarters of a length. It stayed, it stayed okay at uh, two, so you know that it stays okay. So we'll just have a look how Tuffy Shark got on with Mad About Roger here or Ryoga. Ryoga. Six and one. We know that six is absolutely murdered one into the corner there. So this is exactly what I do for my job. It's not brain surgery. It's just measuring one dog against one dog and one dog... Uh, you, you must never presume, I always believe what is on my system here. I don't say, oh, I think I, I, think I fancy one here, this run really well. I purely believe what I see on my system. And I know that I've got quite a lot more work to do. Don't think it's just like sort of five minutes work. I'll have to dig a lot deeper and do a lot more um, research. But it's coming to the stage where come out honey pie is a bet tomorrow in that race. It would be something that I'd be contemplating betting. And that is purely what I do for my job. Just it's just like friend, being a forensic detective, really. Once everything's been eliminated and you've done all the research, what you're left with is the result. Um, the future of the game. 
I can just see tracks closing and closing and closing. And if Tasker happens to close, then I think it's then be, could, gonna become a sport where you say Coles, Labrooks, William Hill, they own two tracks there, two tracks there, two tracks there. And maybe in 30 or 40 years' time, they'll be the only tracks that are going apart from little independents that have got flapping tracks for whippets and and un, unregulated grounds running around. It, it, the pond will get smaller and smaller, in my opinion. <coughs> if the sport don't get behind Tasta. So, um, it's, a, it's a bleak future for ground racing, in my opinion.